So in this example, we're going to go over uh, a, a Google form that we just created, and we're going to edit it after we've created the form because oftentimes this oftentimes this happens where we create our interview and then we think, oh, I should have asked that question, or um, HR suggests us uh, to change a question or something. So this is how we go back um, and edit a form. You'll see here the designer pre-interview. You can tell by the icon to the left that this was. Uh, created as a Google form. So we're just going to open this up and what you should see here is a spreadsheet style um, a spreadsheet style interface and this is what you're going to see. The candidate of course is going to see just normal text boxes um, but you're going to have the ability to go through in this in this uh, spreadsheet and scroll all the way through. There's nothing here now but you'll you'll be able to scroll all the way through and read a candidate's information and that candidate all the information you'll need about a candidate will be on one single line in the spreadsheet so let's click up here on the top menu that says form and that uh, one in the parentheses means how many responses this form has gotten and we'll go to edit form and here you can make any change that you want including changing existing questions or adding new questions changing the types of questions whether it's text paragraph or whatever and clicking done and then clicking save up here at the top right uh, just a note about the save button oftentimes the forms auto save so if you see it already grayed out that means it's already saved uh, the link is still here at the bottom and you can copy and paste this link into uh, into your job ad and applicants can send it right into the form now let's take a look at a form that has um, that's already been populated that people have already responded to um, not real people this is all this is all an academic example these aren't real uh, candidates uh, but here it is so you can see here that each candidate is its own row and to scroll across a candidate all you have to do is scroll across here this pass yes and no we'll get to in a second as well as reviewers notes and you can just read through their answers. How do you select the layout? There you go. These people telling you. How do you use a grid? How do you choose colors? All these pe all these people are uh, giving their their answers. And so I can read what a candidate really thinks, and I can judge their real skills and motivations um, to to a better level than just a resume and portfolio. All right. <clears throat> so. Let's talk about how to actually write a note to review some of these people. You can you can create a column here called reviewers notes. Uh, you could also put something in here called pass, yes or no. If someone, if you like them, yes they pass, you're going to call them next or you could put M for maybe and then N for no. And at the end of the day you might have you know, 100, 200 of these. All you do is you, you highlight the row and you click tools sort by column and that will cause the uh, you see there we just uh, we just sorted it uh, that will cause the actually I want to make a point here that we sorted it but the header row got in there so what you want to do is you actually want to um, to force a header row by dragging the top bar from the left down and so next time when we do it, like uh, like now, we'll go tools, sort. See how the header didn't get involved in that sort now? It's because we, we dragged that top bar. Okay, so the point is that you'll be able to make the candidates you want rise up to the top and the candidates that you don't want rise down or go down to the bottom by using sort. Um, you can write your notes here. And another place where you can write notes is just in the column itself. Let's say you want to make a comment about how um, they select the layout. Well, all you would do is you go to insert comment, and then you would type uh, type what you thought there. And then your colleagues would be able to, uh, to see your feedback on each one. Now, speaking of your colleagues, uh, oftentimes people write notes on paper or on email and then share that with uh, the other hiring managers. There's a much better way. You don't need to make copies of this at all or or um, or print it out. What you need to do is click share on the top right 
and then click invite people. Then just type in your colleagues email addresses and they will have access to this document and you can all be in the same place. I also want to point out about resume. People, um, candidates should be asked to paste their resume and, their, and a link to their portfolio in here. Uh, of course you're not going to be able to review the entire resume in this sheet, but once they paste it in there, all you'll do is move your mouse over the column, copy it, and then paste it into, uh, into Notepad. So you'll, you'll, then, you'll open up a new window of Notepad, paste the resume in there, and then you can review it. Um, this is by far the easiest way to review a candidate because uh, email just you just can't put all this information and attach it um, in one place to an email.